All right, just wanted to do a video responding to the blasphemous statements of a Council KJV, a Brian Dunlinger cult member, regarding Jesus Christ. Now, let me just first say this. When it comes to the Godhead, I believe Jesus Christ is the body of the Godhead. just did a video uh, recently proving from Scripture that Jesus Christ is the body of the Godhead. The Godhead is uh, body, soul, spirit. Okay? Man is made in the image and likeness of God. Genesis 1.26 Man has a body, soul, and a spirit. 1 Thessalonians 5.23 okay? Same with God. God has a body, Jesus Christ. God has a soul, God the Father. And God has a spirit, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Ghost. Either way. 3 and 1. Okay? 1 John 5.7 You can see that. Okay, It's not three persons. It's one person made of a body, soul, and spirit. So I believe Jesus Christ is the body of the Godhead. But what accountable KJV does is he calls Jesus Christ the skin suit of God the Father. I mean, complete blasphemy. Okay, Let me show you where he says this on the video. This is his so-called sermon where he is railing against Brother Bob. And I did a video covering that. But just going to show you three different times he makes this blasphemous super blasphemous wicked statement regarding the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory. I mean, God manifest in the flesh is just a skin suit according to accountable KJV. Here is the first, he says it three different times. Here is the first time. I'll start the, at the transcript. It's uh, 45 minutes and two seconds in. He says, he calls, again, he calls the Lord Jesus Christ the skin suit. I mean, Ridiculous. I mean, it's totally wicked. Let me show you this. And their spirit is the spirit of Antichrist. Okay. Again, I said this in my last video, but just calm down, take a deep breath, you know, get a glass of water or something. You know, just seriously, just not very sober minded, if you, you know, ask me. I mean, Titus chapter 2, verse 2 says the age of men are supposed to be sober, okay? Temperate, are temperate, you know, I'm paraphrasing, of course. But. He's not behaving how Titus 2 says that the Asian man is supposed to behave. Okay, go read Titus chapter 2, verse 2 sometime. Continuing. Okay? That's why they harp on things of the flesh. The flesh, you know? The skin suit? Openly... Promoting Catholicism by harping. Now, I would agree with them there. The Trinity is Roman Catholic, but skin suit. Okay, here's another time he says it. And then a second time. He, uh, go to uh, sorry, verse 51, 21. An image of God, spirit, soul, and body. Actually, let me just go back a little bit before. Uh, yeah, right there. I require the life of man. Whoso sheddeth, sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God made he man. Image of God. Spirit, soul, and body. Okay? Spirit, soul, and body. The body. You know, the skin suit. The body. And, you know, you'll say, well, he's not saying Jesus Christ is a skin suit. Well, he is indirectly because in another video, there's a clip of it I shared in the comments. He says, you know, the soul, the skin suit, the body, the word made flesh, our Lord Jesus Christ. So he believes Jesus Christ is the skin suit. Okay? Because what he's going with this is he's taking the biblical doctrine that Jesus Christ is the body and saying Jesus Christ is the skin suit. So because our bodies are basically skin suits, that means that Jesus Christ is the skin suit of God the Father. Which is just blasphemous, okay? Jesus Christ is God. Manifest in the flesh. He's not a skin suit that the Father puts on. Wicked blasphemy. But he says it a third time. Uh, yeah, I think this is the part where he actually calls Jesus Christ a skin suit. He was provided a body. He will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. Yes, a body. The flesh. Yes. You know, the flesh, the skin suit. Uh, okay, that was beaten, torn, bruised, gangrenous, bloody, hair ripped out of it. Yeah. yeah. Again, it's like just take a deep breath, okay? You know, it just 
he's he's just not very sober minded. I just I'll have to come on and say he's just not he's not sober minded. Okay, he's just not he's not sober. Okay, but what's this thing of of skin suit? Okay, because again he's calling Jesus first. He mentions he was teaching the skin suit doctrine, but then in this mention he actually is calling Jesus Christ a skin suit, which again wicked blasphemy. Okay, here is the word of God. Okay, John chapter 1, verse number 1 to 2. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. The Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. Okay? Jesus Christ is God. Okay? He is God and He is the Son of God. You say, well, how does that work? I don't know. The mystery of godliness. For, or second, sorry, 1 Timothy 3, 16. Great is the mystery of godliness. I don't understand how Jesus Christ can be both God and the Son of God. Or, yeah, God and the Son of God. However, it's in the Word of God and I believe it. You know, I can't understand God with my puny human mind, okay? Jesus Christ is the Son of God, okay? I don't deny that, okay? I don't deny that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He's not, he's not, um, I'm not this kind of thing where I'm not this modalist, oneness thing where, oh, Jesus Christ is, you know, some kind of created being or whatever, like this kind of um, pagan thing where Jesus Christ is the created being. No, Jesus Christ is the divine Son of God, okay? He's God's Son. However, he's also God, Okay? How does that work? I don't know. Mystery of godliness. Okay. Go down to verse 14. And keep in mind, when you have capital W, Word of God, it's referencing Jesus Christ. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Okay. Jesus Christ took upon himself the form of a servant. I'll show you that in scripture. Okay. This does not mean that he's the skin suit of the Father. I mean, give me a break. It's ridiculous. Okay. And it's wicked blasphemy. Uh, Philippians 2 verse 5 let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus who being the in the form verse 6 who being in the form of God thought not robbery to be equal with God so a skin suit is equal to God apparently according to a cannibal KJV but the word of God says differently verse 7 but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men okay he was made in the likeness of men. But when you see him in his glorified body, well, first of all, you can't see him in his glorified body now because you're basically dropped on dead. You can read Revelation chapter 1. Read Revelation chapter 1. When the Apostle John saw Jesus Christ, he just drops on dead. Okay? You can't see Jesus Christ in his glorified body in your body of flesh right now. However, uh, he took upon himself the form of a servant. Okay? He took upon himself a human body. Okay, again, this does not prove that Jesus Christ is the skin suit of the Father, okay? When Jesus Christ was in the body of a human, he was still God, okay? And let me show you some at first on that. John chapter 3 and verse 13. Because the interesting thing proving that Jesus Christ was still God when he was in the human body is that the fact that Jesus Christ was in was both on heaven sorry was both on earth and in heaven I almost said on heaven both on earth and in heaven at the same time okay John 3:13 no man hath ascended up into up to heaven but he that came down from heaven even the son of man which is in heaven okay the son of man came down from heaven but he's in heaven too okay he's on both earth and heaven okay on earth and in heaven say it that way okay so Jesus Christ is the body of the Godhead, okay? But he's not a skin suit. Again, wicked blasphemy. And here's a interesting verse that Countable KJV won't show you. Uh, verse... Sorry, it wasn't Romans 14. I was thinking uh, Philippians 2, sorry, not Romans 14. But there's a similar verse in Romans 14. Philippians 2. Uh, verse, I'll start at verse 9. Wherefore God hath also highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that the name of Jesus, verse 10, but the name of Jesus, every knee should bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, the glory of God the Father. So they're confessing that, that a skin suit is Lord according to the glory of God the Father. Or sorry, according to accountable KJV. Okay, they're confessing Jesus Christ is Lord according to, sorry, to the glory of God the Father. I'll say, you know, mess my terms up. I'm sure I'm probably going to get attacked over that and say, oh, look, look what he said, you know. Okay, I just mess my terms up, okay. I make mistakes. I'm not perfect. I'm still a fallible human being, okay. But I guess according to accountable KJV, uh, a skin suit is being, is being confessed that he is Lord 
to the glory of God the Father. Okay? Uh, again, just totally wicked. So, I mean, like, don't be deceived by this Denlinger cult. They come out with all kinds of blasphemy, all kinds of you know, wickedness and just weird stuff. I mean, there's that sermon Brian did, I did a video on that, where he was like saying you should get a divorce if you want to live off grid. It's just ridiculous. So, this is the fruit of the Brian Denlinger cult. So, anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.